Hello everyone, so welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you a quick unboxing of Cooler Master Master Air MA410P. So I bought this cooler because I was low on budget and I decided to pair this cooler with my Core i5 10600K. So without wasting any further time, let's unbox this. Inside the box, you have a small box which has all the accessories for the cooler. Let's open this box. First we get the brackets for an additional fan. Then we have the clamp for the Intel and AMD sockets. You can use this clamp for both Intel and AMD motherboards. Next we have the backplate mountings and the master gel pro thermal paste. Set of screws for AMD and Intel sockets. Then we have the fan controller to control RGB lighting on the fan. In the end we have this backplate bracket for your motherboard. You can use this universal bracket for your Intel and AMD motherboards. So let's have a look at the cooler now. The cooler is huge and heavy. I will take it out of the box. Inside the box you have the warranty card and the quick installation guide. Watch this video till the end to know how to install this cooler onto your motherboard. The fins of the cooler are made up of aluminum and there are 57 of them. The thickness of the cooler is 60mm while the width is 116mm and the cooler stands 158.5mm tall inside the case. This cooler has 4 6mm copper heat pipes that have direct contact with the processor. You can mount an additional fan on the cooler with the provided brackets. After adding the single fan to the cooler, the thickness becomes 84mm. The RGB fan has two cables, one is PWM cable and the other is 4 pin RGB cable. The fan with this cooler is a master fan 120. This is the 120mm fans with a maximum speed of 2000 rpm. The fan blades and the housing is transparent. You can use a similar fan for a push and pull arrangement on your cooler. The maximum life of this fan is 160,000 hours and the maximum fan noise is 30 dB.
In rendering test at a 4.5 GHz clock speed, the temperatures stay in the mid 60s, while at 4.7 GHz at full load, temperature stays in the mid 70s. So this is a great cooler but you have to pay a premium price for the RGB features. There is very small clearance between the RAM modules and the cooler and you will have a hard time installing 4 RAM modules with this cooler. You can use the RGB header of your motherboard to change the lighting on this cooler. And if your motherboard have no RGB header you can use the bundled controller to change the lighting on the fan. The cooling performance of the cooler is great and I was able to get a 4.8 GHz overclock on my Core i5-10600K. Thank you for watching this video, I will talk to you guys in the next one.